Hey everybody, it's Billy from Billy's Bike Adventures. Thanks for tuning in today. I am en route to some green lanes that I've found online and I'm using a specific app to actually get me there and then to guide me on the route around the green lanes. If that is of some interest to you, how to use the app and where I rode as well, keep watching and I'll show you how things went. The app that I'm using today is View Ranger. Uh, I've used this considerably for hill walking in the Lake District. Very, very good and accurate uh, app. Uh, now, you'll actually use the app once you're on your bike out on the road. Uh, prior to that, you'll need to use the online version, so the View Ranger online on the desktop, uh, to be able to search for routes that have been recorded in your local area or areas where you want to ride, and then save those and download them to the app on your phone. So let me show you how to search for a route first in your local area, and then download that onto your mobile phone. So on the navigation bar at the top, you have uh, a whole host of options. You want to click on Find Route. This then takes you to a page uh, that has a map on it. Uh, depending how far it is zoomed in, you will he either have lots of boxes on there, or you will have, as you see here, uh, four circles. Uh, and what this is, the numbers in the circles are representing how many people have actually recorded routes in the region where those dots are. You are able, obviously, to uh, zoom in a little bit further, and when you do, this is what it looks like. Each one of the squares that you now see on screen represents somebody that has recorded a route in that location. Uh, what you need to do is filter these out now so that you exclude everybody that's been walking or cycling or canoeing, etc., and have only on there the off-road uh, riders or, or, or vehicles. So in the um, sub-menu bar that, at the top, it says filter on screen, map results by and you can do that by type uh, and in type you have a whole load of graphical representation of different activities click on the the vehicle that is on a slight camber uh, indicating that uh, that vehicle is off road you now have on the screen those people that have recorded a route on view ranger that has been an off-road ride whether it be in a 4x4 or a motorbike or an adventure motorbike uh, by hovering your mouse or cursor over those boxes, it will give you some very brief information regarding uh, the actual route that that person did. So whether uh, where it was uh, and, and what the distance was and hopefully uh, a little bit of a description of the route as well. And what you'll notice is that the box on the, the screen also changes to tell you whether it was a car, whether it was a 4x4 or whether it was a motorbike. Once you've found uh, one of the routes that you would like to do, or, or you think that you would like to do, click on the actual box, and a box will come up, another box will come up, and it'll tell you uh, the distance, it'll give a, a, a name for the route that this person did, uh, the, the difficulty level, was it easy, moderate, or hard, and hopefully they've put in a good description uh, about the route that they actually did. Clicking on the highlighted link in that box now takes you to this page uh, where you can, in the top left-hand corner, you can purchase or download for free this particular route. As long as you've got the app on your phone, you will be able to see this route that you've downloaded uh, in the app and then start using the app to navigate your way to and then round the route that's been recorded. Having now downloaded the route that you've chosen, go to your View Ranger app on your phone and go to your profile, open up and go to your profile page. So this is mine that you see on screen at the moment. Uh, and uh, a third of the way down, you see options for feed, tracks, routes and profile. Go to routes and underneath there, it'll show you all the routes that you've either recorded yourself or that you have saved. Uh, click on the one that you uh, want, to, want to ride and it'll bring up the actual route. Uh, at the bottom, it'll give you a start route option. Once you are ready to uh, commence, uh, press the start route button at the bottom. It'll bring up this screen, shows it shows you a map of your current location and the direction in which you need to travel to get to the actual route. And the, the, the map is an active map. What it doesn't do is that it doesn't move the map as you travel. You've got to move the map on screen manually um, so it's not like a, a Google Maps or a, an iPhone Maps where the map will actually move with your travel. Uh, you've got to actually move the map on, on this view ranger yourself to keep track of where you are. And that's it. That's all you need to do to get started green laning with uh, the View Ranger app. Uh, this journey that I'm on today uh, was the first time I'd used the View Ranger app, and it was really good, uh, very accurate. Like I said, the only downside is that the, the map doesn't move with your travels. You've got to move it manually. Outside of that, very, very useful. And uh, thanks to those people that have already uh, loaded uh, and recorded routes to the View Ranger for other people to use. 
So if you want to see how my journey on the green lane went on this day, subscribe to the bottom right hand corner, there's a little button, just press that, you'll subscribe to my channel and you'll get an update of where and how the day actually went. Uh, so for now, thanks for watching. If you found it beneficial, please like and also share with anybody else that might find the ViewRanger app useful. And uh, I will see you again very soon.